Officials, I am Annie and Manan just got us a new device. So guess what, here we have our iPhone 7 Plus Jet Black 128GB version. So let's begin this review and see what type of accessories we have got with this model. So first opening the box, we have got a envelope. In this envelope uh, we have a SIM ejection tool. Some instructions, some user agreements, and some Apple stickers. So let's see what else we have got in our box. So we have got our iPhone. I have already unboxed this. And we have got our iPhone 7 Plus jet black color. As you can see, there are many fingerprints or on them because we have used this device before. So we have got our newly designed small adapter and uh, as you guys know that iPhone 6s comes with a bulky adapter. So in iPhone 7 plus and 7 we have got a small adapter. And we have got our all newly designed lightning port earphones so these earphones are designed with lightning port as you can see this because Apple has removed the 3.5mm audio jack and another thing we have got with is a USB to lightning cable and Apple has also provided the users with a lightning to female audio jack converter. So Apple has provided this connector to use our traditional 3.5mm audio jack with the iPhone 7 and 7 plus. So let's take a look to our iPhone 7 plus and its design is quite similar to the iPhone 6s plus but there are several changes that Apple has done to their new series of iPhones such as the all new dual lens 12 megapixel camera which can capture awesome photos so reason why Apple has used dual lens technology is to create a depth field effect means to focus on a particular object and blur the rest of the things lens focus on a particular object while the second lens gives a depth field by blurring the rest of the object and the camera even get a optical image stabilizer which results in a free and smooth shot. The quad LED two tone flash is also upgraded. Now it's 50% brighter than the iPhone 6s. And now our iPhone has become water resistant and now you can take great shots in a rainy season and even in a pool. You can take underwater shots. And uh, the home button is also changed and a whole new home button has introduced by Apple is a SSB home button which means it is a solid state button and now it doesn't click now it has become pressure sensitive means now it will sense the pressure applied by your finger and performs the task accordingly if you apply a little pressure the device will scan your fingerprint and unlocks the iPhone and if we will apply more pressure multitasking window is open the biggest change Apple has done is that the, they have removed the 3.5 mm jack audio jack and uh, now you can't use traditional earphones you have to use a uh, lightning port earphones and this is the main reason which makes the iPhone splash proof because due to that audio jack a lot of water can get inside the iPhone circuit but now it can't get inside and this is the main reason splash proof and waterproof and the iPhone 7 and 7 plus also comes with the all new iOS 10 but I have installed iOS 11 beta version on it so let's see how iOS 11 beta version looks like first I am turning on the phone So now our iPhone has just started and as you can see the home screen and uh, I have installed some apps on it, some all games also I have installed on it because it is a 128GB version so there is a lot of space for these apps and uh, let me talk about the, some new features of the iOS 11. Uh, the control panel has totally changed as you can see the icons are also changed. 
and uh, let me talk about this new home SSB button which means a solid state button so it is pressure sensitive so if we will open some application just like this and if I want to go to the home screen again I will apply a little pressure to it and as you can see we have written to the home screen and if I open a lot of applications so now if you want to open multitasking you have to apply double pressure to it and as you can see our multitasking is open in iOS 11 the multitasking look like this so you, here we can close all these apps and as you can see we have got a blurry background because there are no open apps and if you will apply more pressure to it it will open Siri so now let's talk about the camera we have got our dual lens here which gives the depth effect feel to the portrait and photos here we have got our 4 LED tone flash and a cancelling microphone which cancels the noise background noises and let's see its performance another main feature of this uh, iOS 11 and iOS 10 is its landscape mode you can use your device in landscape mode also so let's open the camera as you can see the camera quality is extremely awesome and now we can focus uh, each and every object in it so it can focus any object and blur the background as you can see we have our object here if I will focus on it and it got a portrait mode picture which gives the depth field effect if I will focus on this object as you can see our object is has been focused and rest of the things are blurred just like a DSLR effect so we, this is the new portrait mode and so we also got our slow-mo functionality which uh, has been increased to 240 frames per second now you can capture slow motion videos in 240 frame rate which is a very great thing and uh, some new features are also there just like the notification center has been changed as you can see this if I will slide it it will lock the phone and got some notifications here and the fact that the iPhone 7 and 7 plus in jet black color is uh, got very scratches because of this uh, polish finish Apple has uh, given 9 coating polish finish to the surface of the iPhone 7 and 7 plus so it got some fingerprints and some scratches also as you can see guys and the iPhone 7 and 7 plus got a uh, all new A10 fusion chip which is 3x powerful than the iPhone 6s and it got the all new GPU which uh, works 2x faster than the iPhone 6s which means now you can enjoy games flawlessly and very effectively so that's it for this video guys hope you guys like this video and I know that I haven't mentioned all the iOS 11 beta version features in this video but you can check all the iOS 11 beta version features on our official website the links are given in the description below and give it a thumbs up to this video and hit that subscribe button to watch such awesome videos